Welcome to part 2 of our demo for ArcCam 2011. In this part we are going to create the leaves and the acorns from an image. I've imported a little bit of clip art into ArcCam. What I'm going to do is use the bitmap to vector tool to create vectors from all of this artwork. So what I need to do is first of all get rid of all these colours so I can select one specific colour to work with the bitmap to vector tool. So I'll right click here and click reduce number. Now with my slider bar move that right the way down to 2. So I just have black and white as the colours and I'll OK that. Now I want to go on to my bitmap to vector tool. Move this down. What we have here is create boundary and we have a speckle size which basically is the tolerance of how fine the actual vectors are. So if you have a little dot there, if you select the speckle size as being quite low, it will pick it up. If I select it quite high, it will just ignore the dot. So I'll just leave these as the default values. The smoothness is quite obvious, it just determines how smooth the vectors turn out. So I'll just click create vectors and see what we get. I'll close this dialog and I'll reduce my slider contrast right the way down so we can see. Now if I zoom in on the leaf, you can see it's copied, copied it quite well. There's no loops or anything. Same here on the acorn. You can see here that's not picked up because it's smaller than the speckle size, but that one has. So, what I'm going to do now is select all of these leaves and then I'm going to group them together. Shift selected. Just like these little pieces and this little pip up here. Press Ctrl G or I could use this icon to group. They've all turned to purple colour and they're all as a group. Do the same thing here for my veins. What I'll do, I'll just create a box over there and it will pick up everything within the box. Shift select these little bits. Keep Shift still pressed down create a box over these and then select this one here and this one and then I'll group them again so I have a group of leaves and then a group of veins now what I want to do is delete the inside bits of the acorn so I'll select all of these bits Just drag in a box over these. It's a lot easier. Right, so those are all the inside bits that are deleted on my A chord. So I'm going to use my shape editor. I'll go into my 3D view. Rotate this round. Switch on my vectors. Double click the leaves. So it brings up my shape editor. What I'm going to do is a dome of minus 15 and a start height of 2. And I'll add that. Now what I'm going to do is zoom in on the leaves. As you can see, there's a sharp corner there. I don't really want that. I want that smooth. So instead of using the smooth sculpting tools this time, because I want it over the whole thing, a sort of uniform distance, I'm going to use the smooth relief tool. And I'm going to select the whole layer because there's nothing else on that layer, just the leaves. So it doesn't really matter. And the smoothing, 
I'm going to use 15 passes. So if I apply that, what it's doing, it's just going over the whole layer, doing a smooth for every pass. You'll see it building up until it finally reaches 15 passes. So that's 15 passes, and I'll cancel that. So now all the leaves are quite smooth. So if I zoom out, those leaves look quite good. So I'll double click on the veins, and I'll select a beveled edge this time, and I'll create it at minus 30, and the start height of 0, and then I'll add that. If you click on here, on the rule, it will actually go up or down in 15 degrees increments, instead of typing it in here. So I'll close my shape editor, turn off my vectors, and then you can see we have some leaves that were done pretty easily really. So if I go view along Z, this is my top view, and I'll select here, fade relief. What I want to do is create a fade from the bottom of these acorns here up to the top of the leaves. So I want it 100% like the original there, and then fading into about 10% of the original there. So what I'll do, I'll just drag this cross here, get it somewhere in the middle there, and I'll drag this one over to here, and it gives me the coordinates, and then I'll click create, and then it's faded the leaves to give it a bit more perspective. So now what I'm going to do is go onto the acorns. This particular relief that I've created here, I will rename that and change that into leaves, and then I'll create a new relief and I'll rename that acorns. Go back onto my 2D view. Here we have the two acorns. If I go back into my 3D view, turn on vectors, zoom in on these acorns. As you can see here, the acorn it's got a funny shape because it's just copied what was on the picture originally. If I double click on this and then create a dome shape at 45 degrees and just add this, you'll see it will create a shape that we don't really want. It doesn't look nothing like an acorn really. So that's a little bit of a problem. So I'll undo that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to delete this acorn and I'm going to copy this one over onto here. If I select Control and Alt, it will just copy the acorn over at 90 degrees. If I take my finger off Alt, I can copy it wherever I like. So I'll just I'll just leave it there. So there's my copy. What I want to do now is going to transform vectors because I need to rotate this around. So I'm going to rotate it, say, let's just do it real time. Let's try that. So I'll apply that and then I'll move it. Just zoom in a little bit more. I can use the arrow keys as well to move it. So looks okay. So zoom back out of here. I'll double click on, go back onto my 3D view so you can see. Double click on the left icon. I'm going to do a dome shape. Let's say 30 degrees for this. And I'll do a start height of 1 and I'll add this. Now you can see that's gave a more rounded sort of shape which looks like an acorn. So that's a lot better. So for the right acorn, select that, and I'll do a dome 30 again, and I'll do a start height of 3.5, and I need to merge high so it blends into this acorn. So I'll close my shape editor. As you can see, the right acorn is a little bit high. So what I'm going to do 
is with the acorns relief layer selected I'm going to scale relief you can just scale whatever relief is selected so at the moment my height is 7.208 so I'm going to bring that down to say 3.5 and then apply now that's not the height down to 3.5 looks a bit better I'm going to do another smooth relief on these acorns exactly the same thing again smooth relief whole layer because there's nothing else on this layer just the acorns and I'll go to do 15 passes again so I'll apply that just wait for it to go through each pass as you can see it's slowly starting to smooth out every time and then I'll cancel it so there's my acorns smoothed just zoom in on here and I'm going to select smudge I'll change that to 8 and the strength of 50 I'll ignore the colour usage and I'm just going to create just a little bit of depth in here just do the same thing on here It's just to create the effect of where the hatched part of the shell of the acorn is. So I'll turn off my vectors so I can see it a little bit better. Now it, it doesn't look too great up here, but I'm going to smooth it. So let's turn the diameter down a little bit, say so there, and then just smooth this. Let's get rid of this top edge here when I've gone over. Let me just smooth this in. Let's do a lot of smoothing at the end. Okay, don't want too much on there. Smoothing all at the end. Come in here. I've got to watch this so it doesn't smooth into the other icon. Smooth all of this. Smooth the, the end, come down. Okay, that should do. So I'll exit my smoothing tools. Now turn on my vectors and select these two inner parts of the acorns. Now I'm going to go into texture relief again, as we did with the stag, but this time I'm going to use a setting that's already within ArtCam instead of using it from file and this time I'm going to use it within a selected vector so if I select sphere and I want to select these at about say about 2mm and the height I'll select them at 0 0.2 and then I'll just add these and it will create the texture on top of the acorns. So there we have our acorns and the leaves. So what we're going to do now is do exactly the same thing. I'll merge all these layers. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now I have a merge layer. Right click on the light bulb to make that one the active layer. I'll rename that to leaves and acorns. Now I'll open my clip art library. Should remember the last directory that I was in, which is our on the rocks directory. There you see our stag. And I'll select leaves and acorns, drag them over into the directory, and then that's created our leaves and acorns in our clip art library. So now what we're going to do is to go on to a technique that I'm going to show you to create the grass effect.